Chris Cotter alongside three-time and defending world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. I look like I'm 12 standing next to you. But then again, so does everybody else. All right, guys, we're hitting you with another vlog here. Uh, today's very interesting because I'm actually heading out to Florida to work with ESPN on the Invictus Games. Um, I'm gonna do the co some commentary there, which will be really fun, but I still have to get my training in before I get out of here. So today I'm working on uh, some yoke. Um, so we're gonna hit that right now and then uh, pack up, head out to the fire department. I'm gonna pull a fire truck to train with that a little bit. And then I've got a, a timeline to keep because I got to get to the airport this afternoon. So a lot of things going on, a lot of things happening, but you know, this is what happens to me. I, I have to focus on a lot of things at once and still um, maintain my focus on training. So have some fun and hopefully it's a good day. some yoke training um, got a little bit over a thousand pounds but you know it's just kind of one of those things where today everything's fast so I'm, I'm pretty happy with that um, and now we'll go go pull a truck uh, it's kind of hoping the rain holds off it uh, there's a little bit of chance of rain in the forecast so if it, if it gets wet we're still gonna have to do it because I got to get the training in so anyway we'll see you guys there
So we got checked in at the airport. Um, everything went pretty smooth. Really had a little bit of time to hang out and catch up on some emails um, and things like that I needed to. So just getting ready to get on the flight here. I think it's about four hours. So um, yeah, hopefully it goes by quick and smooth and get to Orlando and figure out everything from there. We just made it to the hotel. It's about a half hour uh, drive. Um, high security getting in here. I had to show my photo ID and everything because they're going to have some uh, pretty high profile uh, people here um, for this event, which is pretty cool. So pretty crazy right down uh, uh, down by Walt Disney World and um, everything. So it's going to be kind of fun to check everything out tomorrow and uh, see the event. But um, I'm going to go in here and get checked in and see if I can find some food. So I wasn't going to do any more filming until... I got to my room and got settled in, but I uh, I am laughing to myself and I figured this would be hilarious to show. So I'm seriously like on a uh, on a quest right now to try to find my room. I did, I checked into the lobby and the girl was like, oh yeah, it's you know about like a seven minute walk to your room. And I got a little uh, treasure map here, check this out. So you can see see that guy. So there's little lines and you can see the circle part at the top there. So I checked in at the bottom circle and the top circle is literally where my room is. So pretty much the uh, furthest room possible <laughs> is where I'm staying. And I don't think she quite understood that uh, earlier today I was carrying a uh, over a thousand pounds on my back and pulling a fire truck and um, after a four hour flight, you can imagine how my feet feel and my legs feel and whatever. And this is probably the uh, last thing that uh, I would like to be doing right now at this very moment. So anyway, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes you just have to laugh at the situations that, uh, that you get into. I mean, it is one thing. It is beautiful. This resort is beautiful and walking around. So I'll have to do some more filming, but uh, anyway, I'm all, uh, Continue the quest to the room now. All right, so made it to the room, which is which is awesome. Um, it was it was quite a journey to get here, and uh, <laughs> now to make this even more comical, I uh, decided to order a pizza since room service and everything is closed down, and I need to get um, another kind of high calorie meal in. Uh, the best part of this is uh, the pizza delivery place will not deliver to anywhere but the main lobby which is where I just came from and as you can see I'm kind of sweating and uh, it's a little hot and humid here which I'm not used to so anyway I'm gonna hope that I can retrace my steps get back to the lobby get that pizza and I'm gonna enjoy that thing um, it's gonna taste a heck of a lot better after uh, um, having to journey back there but it'll be a lot easier this time hopefully uh number one because i should know kind of where i'm going and number two uh because i don't have to drag my bags with me so anyway i'm gonna go uh go kind of knock that out and then uh bring that back here and enjoy that and hopefully kind of wrap up uh the travel and try to get some sleep before i have to be up i think it's almost almost one in the morning already here which uh kind of sucks because i think i have to be up a little bit early um to go watch the preliminary uh lifting tomorrow so um anyway whatever you know this is uh this is part of the game so uh so yeah i'm gonna go get that because i need to try to get that meal in so um yeah go do that and hopefully make it back in one piece 
made it back successfully from uh, the pizza trek and I was gonna do a video when I got back to the room but I was too hungry so I just had to sit down and, and eat like crazy so just did that um, wrapping down here and uh, call it a wrap for day one uh, travel is done and then I have to figure out uh, um, after a little bit of sleep here I need to figure out what's going on for tomorrow so I'm gonna wrap it up there for day one and uh, yeah hopefully have some more fun tomorrow um, and uh, figure out what's going on what's up guys start of day number two um, Rolling on a little bit, uh, I was kind of bright in the back. Um, rolling on come some short hours of sleep. Um, but, you know, this Eastern time stuff, so I'm two hours different here. So starting earlier in the morning is even earlier in the morning for me. So, um, and then obviously I didn't get in until late last night and all that, uh, all that uh, journey to the room. So, yeah, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm excited to get down to the event here and see what's going on and, Meet a few people and meet the lifters, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be a good day. Let's get rocking and rolling. Well, we made it down to the uh, venue. Uh, got the uh, credentials here. See my pretty face on there. Um, so yeah, things are going pretty good. I'm just trying to figure out uh, where I'm gonna be tomorrow, and we're actually watching some of some of the preliminary lifting here um, right now. I'll show you down there. This guy's about ready to lift right now. Up. Let's see if he gets us. Boom. So three white lights, that's that's awesome. So basically, um, I think today the uh, heavyweight men and heavyweight women are lifting uh, to get the uh, top eight qualification spots. So. Yeah, it's, it's uh, definitely a good day, um, trying to get the bearing of, of where I'm going to be and, um, you know, what all the rules are. They have a little bit different rules, um, you know, for all the competitors and that sort of thing. So it's been interesting uh, meeting a few people um, down here as well. So I'm going to get back. Uh, I definitely didn't get to do as many updates today. As I was hoping to be able to, uh, with this event, things were crazy um, down there trying to get everything figured out today and I was running on I, would, I don't know probably about three and a half hours of sleep total so just it was just a stressful day um, didn't definitely didn't get as much food in today as I would have liked but um, I just got a actually ordered two dinners um, uh, like a whole big chicken deal and a uh, huge steak so so that was good. I kind of made up for it, but um, yeah, I, I definitely, you know, um, I'm a little disappointed with that. And, and uh, yeah, it's, it's been an interesting kind of learning thing. But what I will say is, you know, today I got to go down and, and uh, watch all these different lifters and athletes compete. And I got to talk with so many of them and, uh, you know, their stories and, and what the Invictus Games stand for and, you know, it, it's just so awesome, you know, that they, all these athletes have been able to overcome, you know, the things that they have and they're, you know, have found uh, something to compete in and something to strive for. And, uh, you know, just talking to them uh, gives me a lot of motivation, even though today was a tough day, you know, for me and, and probably not, um, you know, it didn't work out exactly the way I, I had hoped you know, hearing those stories and, and that type of stuff and, and seeing the lifting that I did and, you know, them getting fired up and, and uh, being excited, you know, to talk to me and stuff. It was, it made it everything worth it. And it makes, uh, you know, a lot of the things that I do, um, you know, with my training uh, seem not not that hard at all, you know, and it, and it gives me a lot of motivation. So, you know, it's, it's a neat thing to be here and, and that's what I will say, you know, so Definitely didn't get as much um, on camera today and, you know, tomorrow I'm going to try my best uh, to get everything I can. Uh, the production is, is pretty much set up for the most part. Um, I've got to be up early uh, and and out there at 6 a.m. So that's 4 o'clock um, from home for me. So it's, it's just ridiculous early, but uh, 
we're the first event of the day um, of the games, actually. So, got to kind of kick things off. So, I'm, I'm um, excited to kind of work, you know, with ESPN on this and announce this and uh, um, hopefully make it all happen. You know, I'm not sure exactly um, everything I'm going to say, but uh, I, I tend to figure that out as we go. So, um, anyway, I'm going to get some sleep and uh, try to get caught up and get packed up and, and uh, ready to rock and roll in the morning. So um, we'll check in then. All right, so this is day three. This is production day. Um, headed down here really early. Got up and uh, man, it feels like I didn't even hardly sleep, but whatever, we gotta turn it on and, and uh, get ready for the cameras and make this happen. So uh, time to head down there and have some fun. Chris Cotter alongside three-time and defending world's strongest man, Brian Shaw. I look like I'm 12 standing next to you, but then again, so does everybody else. The adaptive nature of this sport today, this powerlifting competition, really sets up a bunch of unique challenges for the competitors, does it not? No, absolutely. One of the major differences here is that the athlete's feet are going to be up off the ground and strapped to the bench. So it really creates a lot of balance issues when the athletes go to bench press. So they're going to have to overcome that to get a good lift in today. Now, I know you were speaking to a lot of the competitors here yesterday during the prelim. They're all ready to go, are they not? Yeah, everybody's fired up and excited. This is going to be an awesome event. We're looking forward to a great competition. What's up, guys? So we are uh, setting up in the booth here. We've got Chris Cotter, the background here, the voice of ESPN. <laughs> um, and we are uh, getting ready to uh, broadcast the powerlifting for the Invictus games here, so gonna be a lot of fun. So this is where we get to spend the next uh, three hours three or so. Three hours plus. Boom, gonna be awesome. Warmed up, get that first lift out of the way so you can get the blood flowing a little bit. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, starting the competition off positive with uh, getting all white lights here is the way to go. Get on the board and then move up from there. Really solid lift, that was nice. The third member of our broadcasting crew is Allison Williams down on the floor. Allison? So yeah, it's going to be important for them to be focused and, and uh, you know, especially as the weight jumps get up here, these competitors are going to have to dial it in and make sure that, uh, that they're lifting the bar exactly how they're supposed to so they can get their lifts passed. Three lifts per categorization. So in other words, it's female, uh, the, the women's lightweight category. Each one will have, each competitor will have three lifts. We've gone through their first round of lifts. Immediately following their first round of lifts, they've got to tell the judge uh, right there along the side what their next lift is going to be. So they have to make that decision right away. And that's when strategy comes into play, does it not? No, exactly. They have 60 seconds once they're done lifting the bar. So everything happens very quickly in those 60 seconds. So you need to judge yourself and your along with your coach, how easy was your, your previous lift? And then, you know, what are you capable of? And then the next thing is, you want to look at the other competitors in the competition and what, what weights have they chosen. And so uh, it, it's definitely an advantage to go after the other competitors have, so you can see what they've chosen on, on the, uh, their next round weights. And hopefully you can lift heavier than them. All right, so we just uh, finished up all the filming, came over here to get something to eat um, in the VIP uh, eating tent here. So I'll show you around a little bit food is back there they got this built up they did a really good job setting this whole thing up so yeah I think the uh, broadcast went well we're gonna go back and do some voiceover stuff now um, and then hopefully after that I get ahead to the airport so um, go get this finished up All right, so I'm gonna give you a quick peek here inside one of the main uh, production rooms here uh, for the Invictus games yeah trying to <laughs> yeah. How are you? Good. So you can see there's a lot of screens going on. Um, very busy in there. A lot of people with a lot of different jobs making this all happen. So there's a lot to go that goes into these productions and uh, 
it's been cool to look behind the scenes. We finished the voiceovers and I caught my ride here, just headed back to the airport. So hopefully I can catch my flight and get back to Denver tonight. All right guys, so got all checked in uh, for my flight here in Florida. And unfortunately, because the filming ran over today, they had to um, basically reschedule my flight. So I was supposed to have left a lot earlier than this and uh, I would have had a direct shot back to Denver, but uh, that did not work. So uh, since we ran over, I was originally supposed to go to, through, uh, through Chicago, so Orlando to Chicago and then to Denver. And then that flight got delayed, so they rebooked me again on another flight, um, which goes through Houston. So now I go Orlando to Houston to Denver. So I'm really happy they worked with me, and um, you know I was supposed to get back at about 5:45 or so, and now I'm getting up back a little bit before midnight. So plans kind of got messed up. Um, I was supposed to train uh, when I got off the plane uh, tonight, so. We'll see if uh, if I'm filling up to it, I, I might still go out there, um, get a session in a little bit after midnight, um, but we'll see. I'm, uh, I'm pretty exhausted. I haven't got a lot of sleep in the last couple days, and uh, you know, we'll hope, if I can sleep on the plane, maybe I'll go out, you know, because I really don't like missing training. So I might still make that happen, but we'll see how I'm feeling. I might uh, kind of get a double session in tomorrow, but anyway, I'm gonna pack it up here uh, and go get on the plane start the journey home all right so just landed in denver i uh, didn't have time in houston to uh get a video in but uh yeah overall just pretty exhausted right now it was a, it was a very eventful couple days um you know and as you can see here from the uh video i had a lot going on and uh you know it's really awesome i mean even though i'm so tired and beat up um you know from the travel and everything I feel really good. I feel really inspired to go train, and um, yeah, I know that uh, earlier I was talking about trying to get home and maybe train a little bit tonight. But I think a uh, better choice is going to be to uh, try to get a good night's rest and then uh, get after it tomorrow morning after I get some food in me. So I think it'll go. You know, obviously jump right back into it. That's how things go, and you know these trips happen so quick, and so much happens in a matter of. You know a couple of days that uh, you need to get back home and get back back to normal schedule right away i got work to do and other things to handle so yeah fun trip overall and uh you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this and um leave me a comment let me know what you think and uh like it for sure and uh we'll come at you again